The Rurawai Rugby Club near Dargaville in Northland has a proud history going back a hundred years. The annual Junior Challenge against Beecroft Club in Sydney is a huge event for both clubs. What's the date? Um, 7th. 7th of July. We're all going on a farm tour later, so while the dads finish their breakfasts, I'm going to do some cooking. Here you go, my darling boys. I think the kids will like some kumara topped pies made with mushrooms. Really like old fashioned field mushrooms, aren't they? Fabulous. They're wonderful because they don't have quite so much moisture in them and they hold their shape when they're cooked, so they're really good to use for lots of different purposes. So I'm going to get these frying. I'm going to get you to mash the beautiful kumara. So I've it. already cooked it. And do you know, my really good tip is once you've drained them and cooked them, you, put, you leave them over the heat for a little while, give them a good shake, and it drives off all the moisture. And okay. You don't get as many lumps and you get a much more creamy mash. And we also add butter and hot milk. Cold milk affects the starch, the coldness, mm -hmm. can make it really gluey. And the hot milk avoids that. I just need to put these mushrooms to one side. And actually I'll get you to season that. Lots okay. of salt and pepper I find. I'm going to cook the lamb. Got this very lean mince. Top quality meat and it just is delivered to your door and buy it online. And I have another good tip and you can see because this is such good quality. It's so meaty it's not breaking up very well but if you use a masher it will really break it up quickly and easily. Okay so we just need to brown this off. So of course you could use beef mince instead of lamb mince. It's a really economical meal, this is great. So we're going to put the mushrooms back in here. I'm going to use some Lee Kum Ki oyster sauce. Oh. Now this is an amazing seasoning. It's really a little bit spicy, very, very savoury flavoured. And we think of it as going well in stir fries and things like that. But it's fantastic in European style dishes as well, like this one. So um, Julie, is it like a thickener as well? Well, like... yeah, it is a lovely consistency, so it will help to thicken it, a bit like a gravy. And it's actually such an interesting story. Um, Mr. Lee created this totally by accident. Apparently, 124 years ago, he owned a eatery and he used to cook a lot of seafood and he was making oyster soup. He kind of walked away and left it, as you do. Yes. And he came back and he thought it was ruined. It was this dark brown colour. Tasted it and it tasted fantastic. He bottled it and it's oyster sauce. Meant to be, eh? Such a good story. I'll just get you to pass me the spring onions yes. and parsley. I'll get you to help me put them into these little pots. And you put the kumara mash on top, have them it's all done. It's called teamwork, Julie. It is. <laughs> Didn't take long to make, actually, did it? No. Got a short it doesn't. Doesn't. And I will put grated Colby cheese on top. This is really excellent cheese made with wonderful milk from the South Island, from oh, Canterbury. Okay. It needs to go in at 190, yes. for just for about 10 to 15 minutes till the cheese is all crunchy. We've come to a local dairy farm to let the kids run around and burn off any pre-match nerves. No more flash buses for these kids. This is Ruawai's version of cattle class. We're going to play a game. Everyone's divided into red and blue teams. The idea is to capture each other's mascot, a special gumboot. Your objective is to go and steal the blue boot and get that back to your base. When you capture some of the opposition, you can pull their band off. Three, two, one, go! The blue team is straight up the hill in search of the reds. <laughs> Come on, Rolly. Slow mo. Come on, Rolly. Keep going. Get him. Get him. Ah. Go. The reds are straight back at them. If this is what the rugby tournament is going to be like, it's going to be a heck of a clash. <laughs> water bombs make things interesting. I got wet by one of the water balloons. <laughs> After some great tackles, the blues break through. Come here, Jason. Back to the cafe for lunch. I'm going to make a crispy skinned salmon dish with a barley and tomato salad. I've got a beautiful fillet of Pacific King salmon from Aoraki Smokehouse and I'm going to cook it with a classic butter sauce. First of all we prepare the salmon. I like using the salmon because it's raised in fast flowing alpine water from the South Island. Another reason I love using salmon is because it's really healthy, it's full of omega-3. I pinch the salmon and make some little cuts into the skin. This is a really good trick because it will stop the salmon from curling up when it's in the pan. So another good tip is to oil the salmon and not the pan, and this way you don't use as much oil. The salmon also has to be nicely dried just with some paper towel beforehand, which I've already done. Then I season it really well with salt, and I like to use unprocessed salt. 
and a little bit of pepper as well. And the other key tip is to have the pan hot. And then we place the salmon skin side down, so you always cook the presentation side first. Press the salmon flat in the pan, just for about 30 seconds, 20 to 30 seconds when you first put it in. Because this way it will cook a lot more evenly. It will take about two or three minutes on the first side. So while the salmon is cooking, I will prepare the other ingredients, and these are for the sauce. And we've got some beautiful fresh thyme. Strip the leaves off the stems. The other ingredient is the juice of a lemon. So I'll check the salmon now, and that is just looking exactly how we want it to be. So I'll turn that over. It only takes about one minute on this side. I will make the sauce around the salmon. Add a couple of knobs of butter. Now the butter sauce is just starting to turn a nut brown. We throw in the thyme. And just keep it careful because it tends to spit. And last but not least, the lemon juice. Come straight out of the pan and onto a serving plate. And then pour that beautiful nut butter sauce all over. And I think this will go incredibly well with my tomato and barley salad. So I'm going to put some vegetable stock in a saucepan to cook the barley. It's 99% fat free and doesn't contain any MSG. I particularly like to use it with the barley because it's going to add lots of flavour to this salad. Now I need to bring this to the boil and it cooks like that for 40 minutes just on a low temperature. The barley's all beautifully plumped up and all the liquid's been absorbed. While that's cooling, I'm going to make the dressing. There's going to be tomatoes in the salad, but I'm also going to put some tomatoes into the dressing. And I'm using these beautiful angel tomatoes, and they're a wonderful sort of oval egg shape. It's got a great amount of juice, so they're perfect for a salad. I'm going to add about half a punnet, and now I'm going to add some manuka honey and cider vinegar. So this is a great New Zealand-made artisan vinegar. Fabulous golden colour and a beautiful aroma. All good dressings need a good amount of salt and pepper, and I like to use organic pepper. And of course some extra virgin olive oil. So now we just need to whiz it up. So really, I'm just breaking up those tomatoes. It's a lovely, chunky kind of texture. And then I pour that into the barley. So now I'm adding the rest of the tomatoes. I'm going to add some chopped parsley. And then lastly, some toasted almonds. Toss it really well so that all the dressing coats all the other ingredients. I wonder how the Aussie dads would like my New Zealand salmon dish. Awesome. Yeah, the taste all right. We're just sort of looking at the right. Just as good as back home. Better. Some fruit tea fluffies will warm the kids up, and they don't contain caffeine or sugar. We've got these gorgeous bell teas here. Crab, strawberry, honey, vanilla, a toffee apple. And here come the lamb pies. Very welcome. Mm. Never tasted something like this before. It's really yummy. Yeah. 